What is good, Foundation Nation? We're out here in Las Vegas at the beautiful Wild Horse Golf Club for a bogey row battle against Team Superfly. Let's do it. Introducing the Bogey Bros West Coast Tour. I will start with, what are you guys' names? Noah. Jordan Stout. And how long have you guys been playing disc golf? About six years. Okay. Probably like 15 years on and off. How often do you guys play this course? Oh, oh. gosh, never. Every <laughs> every uh, LVC at uh, Clubhouse Clash, yeah, that's maybe, about it. Maybe okay. one, maybe I'd say maybe, maybe once, once a month or, or twice. once every other month or so. Okay, if you guys had to put a guess out here, what score do you think they're taking? Like eight under. Okay. Yeah, some trouble. Okay. What kind of shots do you think this course is going to ask for today? Uh, long ones. Long. Yes. All right. <laughs> Very long shots. Long big holes. hyzers. Okay. And have you guys seen the channel before? Yes. Okay. So uh, knowing their games a little bit, what advantage do you think you have over them? Uh, everything. Oh, dang. Just about. Maybe distance. Putting. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Long shots. All right. So at a scale of one to ten, how confident are you guys that you're going to beat the Bogey Bros today? Eleven. Yeah, let's say 10. All right, awesome, we'll see. Football season is back, and you know what that means. It's time for Sunday tailgates, epic fantasy matchups, and sick touchdown dances. But fellas, let's not forget the real MVP of this season, introducing the brand new Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit. This is your ultimate luxury beard grooming experience. This kit is your secret weapon for staying sharp on and off the field. Don't fumble this opportunity. Head to manscaped.com and check out the Beard Hedger Pro Kit for yourself. Join the 9 million men worldwide that trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com and use code West Coast for 20% off plus free shipping. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit is a grooming powerhouse built for precision and style, just like your favorite quarterback. This kit tackles touch-ups effortlessly, making sure you're always ready for the next play. Plus, it has a compact design, which makes it easy for portability. This cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. That's right, you only need one guard to get all those different lengths, no need for a drawer filled with messy guards. Plus, it's waterproof so you can shave while showering to avoid all that hair in the sink. After grooming your facial turf, Show your beard some love with Manscaped's liquid formulation. They've got a beard shampoo, conditioner, oil, and balm, all for your post-grooming care. So head over to manscaped.com and use code West Coast for 20% off plus free shipping. That's manscaped.com and use code West Coast for 20% off plus free shipping. Your beard will thank you. Let's get into the battle. All right, so starting out here, hole one's 367 foot par three. Plays into that like sandy dirt patch you see down there. The bass is kind of tucked in behind the trees, so Grass, OB, car path, and beyond at the right, OB. We'll flip to see who goes first. It lands on this, we'll go first. That, they will. Yeah, I'll see. That's a lot. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't make it All right, before we get on to hole two, got to give a huge shout out to one of the main supporters of this tour, and that is Flippy Disc Golf. As you can see, I'm rocking one of their new Soul Pro Dry Fits right now. If you haven't checked them out before, they have all the perfect apparel for disc golf. They got everything from polos to windbreakers to these dry fits, and their new Soul Pro material is honestly perfect out here, especially in this Vegas heat. We also have our own collection now. These are a bunch of designs that we worked with Flippy to create, stuff that we really loved, and all this is linked in the description. So make sure, check out Flippy's apparel. They have all the perfect stuff for disc golf and check out our own is collect our own collection as well see if there's any designs that you might want to check out and let's get on to the next hole 723 foot par four out here for hole number two about 450 feet off the tee you're met with a sand trap that plays as a hazard so if your disc goes in there you play from it with a stroke the green is ob um, and the basket is up to the left of that green so it's tucked back in uh, car path and beyond on the left is ob um, so really the safest play get something out there 
let it cruise over to the right, and you should have a good angle across the green to attack the disc golf green. This first hole is really gonna make you think. A lot of decisions to be made, but I think the ideal thing is just pump it out there, get it to cruise over to the right, have a good shot in the green. That's pretty good. Spoiler alert, he throws far. Oh, wow. Hey, barely. How much did that flip? It flipped, it did flip more than <clears throat> it has been, but it's not yeah. drastic. I'm well, I mean, if I had thrown that yesterday, that would never have even turned, so. Wow. Shot. That guy does throw for him. Shot. That's even good. Go mid. There he is. There he is. Go, 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 go. Good shot. Yeah, good shot, Hunter. Oh, that's good. Oh, God. Oh, go. Slow down. Oh, great tree. Goodbye, Trevor. All right, about 350-ish feet. Um, triple Mando through here. You're shooting this right gap is definitely the preferred way. And it's like a flex forehand. The basket's just, the basket's almost like straight in front of me now, like that. Car path and beyond on the left will come into play. That's OB, so definitely don't want to turn something over too much. Yeah, good shot, Hunter. Oh, wow. good throw, oh, obliterated that tree. Oh, get it. Oh, man. Woo! Let's go! How did that stay in the <laughs> air at that height the entire Dude, that time? Thing was so low. <laughs> All right, we got about 400, a little over 400 foot par three straight ahead. You see that like curvy tree? Mm -hmm. It's right next to that. Golf green shy of it's OB. Sand trap on the left, hazard. Uh, car path and beyond OB. And then it curves around the back and there's like pavement down back there towards the clubhouse, also OB. So pretty treacherous hole, low ceiling. Looks like you're gonna wanna throw something that'll flip up and just glide all the way up there. I was just assuming that's over here. We definitely get over the green. Oh, that sucks. That was an awful bunker. In the bunker. That was an awful shot on all fronts. Look out, Trevor. Look out, Trevor. It. You might be able to jump putt it, Hunter. Yeah, do that, because I barely flicked it and I went way over top of it. All right, we're looking at about 400-ish feet. Uh, for the LVC layout, it's typically in that little like dip there. So the only difference here is it's about 40 feet left, a little bit straighter, backhand hyzer's a little more into play. Uh, car path and beyond on this right side is gonna play as OB. Um, that seems to be about the only trouble you should find. There is water over here, but that'd be a nightmare. Did you say the stable one? 
No, the other one's a little more stable. I just put that one on Heiser. Okay. There's that difference from elevation there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's oh fine. yeah, great shot, Trevor. Oh, it is. Skip up. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Great right. shot. Yep. Ooh, like kind of Good bid. Ah. Dang. Dang. I got 270 foot par three here, just right in tucked in here i love being at a course that the tours on where you like step up to holes and recognize it and you can see like all these different lines people are taking you're like oh wow that forehand gap that's so i forget who took it not really there i don't understand it ob road and beyond car path and beyond looks like probably just a flip up hyzer through this right stuff Good stable scale oh yeah yeah that's pretty good Oh man. Ooh, wow. Ah. Uh, I babied it. Oh, I like to try it. Yikes. A couple of bad shots there. Dang it, dude. Hmm. Good putt. All right, we got about a 250, 260 foot shot here playing right behind that big tree, kind of where those geese are. Um, kind of just like a backhand hyzer in there. Car path and beyond OB deep, water OB here. If you go OB at all, you go over to the drop zone, which is just shy of the water over where those geese are in that little peninsula. So got to get one in bounds here. It's only on the drive if you go OB. And you Up might get attacked by the normal. geese if you have it in the drop zone. Also true. Oh, good bit, Trevor. Dang. All right, we got about 650-ish, maybe 700. You're shooting straight out this gap. Basket's tucked up to the right. Um, you got you to go over the golf green up there when you get up there. So golf green's OB, hazard is in the sand trap, uh, car path and beyond to the right OB. So just get something out there, have a cruise a little to the right, should have a pretty straightforward up and down if you can do that. Yeah. Trevor did. Pass that tree. Pass that tree. Yeah. Great shot, Trevor. As long as that's not the car path, you should yeah, be great. Yeah, it could be good. That was an all around off shot, basically. That looks much better. Sit. Sit right there. Ooh. Great shot. Great shot. A little too far. Yeah, that's that one's good. He's being mad about that. Yeah. All right, this is the iconic LVC hole. 
island hole. It's playing to that basket right there. Uh, grass is safe. Car path and beyond obese is not a line like there typically is. Beautiful fountain. Oh, it's gorgeous, right yeah. There. Uh, incredible hole. Gotta dodge the geese and put it close. And apparently for Trevor and I, we gotta be touching the pin or else we're missing. Oh, do it, do it. Oh my goodness. You would have aced wow. my, my disc. It would have been mine, bro. <laughs> uh, double partners more. Come on. Yeah, I mean, is the green right there, OB? No, 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 okay. that's, that's, that's a T box. T box, yeah. okay. All right, we got a pretty iconic hole here. Par four, playing like 450 in between the bunkers. You definitely recognize this from LBC, and you might recognize it as a par four that Double G himself aced. So what better time to do our Double G Craft Jerky CTP challenge? Very iconic here. We're gonna, I don't know how close any of us are gonna get to the pin. These guys can definitely get pretty close. Hunter and I might be tough. Uh, if you haven't checked out Double G Craft Jerky yet, they're a huge supporter of our West Coast tour, and they make some amazing jerky. I've got a few flavors here. This is Paul. This is Paul's Max Weight Original in the Max Weight size, it's a huge bag. And then I've got Hot, hot Boom Sauce here, another great flavor. You can go to DoubleGJerky.com, link in the description. Use code FOUNDATION, get 10% off your order. Check out all their snacks, they're also doing trail mix now, and you can get the hats that I'm wearing this entire tour on their site, so make sure to check it out. And if they can get the CTP on this hole, they're gonna win some Double G Craft Jerky. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's perfect. Come on, don't go too deep. Wow. Oh man. CTP counts in this hazard, right? Probably not, right? Look, if we didn't read the bylaws. <laughs> yeah. Put in a worse spot. Hey, that's pure hyzer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got they've got arms. That's so short. It's so short. It's gonna look very scary out of my hand. No, I think it's in. It's coming back. It's very serious. Oh. oh. Yeah? All right, they may have landed in the bunker, but they are closest to the pin, and it is playing hazard, so they get to play it from there, so they are gonna win the jerky today. Shout out again to Double G Craft Jerky. Make sure to check it out, linked in the description. Code foundation for 10%. Are you gonna do the ceremonial giving of the jerky? Yeah. What a guy. Yeah, great up. Ooh. Wow. 427 foot par three, playing just straight out here. OB, car path and beyond the left, property line on the right. Um, just kind of past that T pad and then down in there to the right in this in this tree line. Yeah, that's way shorter. <laughs> that's gonna be close. Flex at the last sec. Wow, look at that pool. Yeah, Hunter. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's probably been high. Got it. Right. Heck yeah, Hunter, come on. I don't have a flippy fairway anymore, so this is what I'm left with. That's not going to be too bad. It's high, so it's going to go over all the trees. Yeah. 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 There yeah. I'm just trash right now. Can't putt, can't throw. It's not good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got about a 600 or so foot par four. Trying to get out this gap and go left. Uh, you got Carpath and Beyond on the left, way left OB. Carpath and Beyond 
long right OB bunker right in front of the basket once you're approaching the green. So get out, go left. Gosh darn it. Hey. Well, that distance yeah, totally totally coming on my back. <laughs> Good shot, Trevor. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, good shot. Good pipe. Okay. Seven hundred some foot par four way out there. Um, this is the hole, if you remember, AB squared up the cameraman on the edge of that bunker right there. Very much in play, so that guy definitely should be on the other side of the bunker now that I'm standing here. Bunker, hazard, green, left, OB, car path and beyond, right, OB. So, low ceiling, flip something up, get it out there, safe, tricky little approach shot on a hillside. A lot to think about out here. They're doing a great job at course design, because I'm stressed on every shot. That was perfect. I mean, that's going too left a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Just don't go in that bunker, please. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. That's perfect. No, that's going to go forever because it just keeps skipping down that hill. Great yeah, shot. but I nicked that branch just enough to slow it's it down. It's okay. Oh, it's so low. Slide forever to make me look better. Nope. Slide forever to me. That's a lot better. There it is. There that's you go. a whole lot better. Yeah, good, good shot. shot. Yeah, good shot, Trevor. Oh! Oh, come on, Hunter! Come on, Hunter! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, my God! That was amazing! Holy crap! Oh, I'm doing it! <laughs> yeah, see, you called it early. Oh, that was so crap. sick! Oh, that was electric. That's <laughs> really great. My life. That was awesome. Heck All right, yeah. I was on the road. Right, that that green. Heck yeah. Take the green out of well, okay. <laughs> Dang. Awesome. Dang. Why don't the pros just play it like that? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to clear it so that in case he. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not doing it. <laughs> All right, 369 foot par three, just straight down this little tunnel. Grassy area on the left there, OB. Looks like the car path curls behind. It doesn't say anything about that, but I'm assuming, yeah, it does. Car path and beyond OB as well. So car path right and curves behind OB and in the grassy area, OB. Typically in LVC, there's like a rope that runs down. That's not in play here. That's only for tournament play, so. Pretty good, maybe like 25, 30 feet. Right? Yeah, go. go for the comment. Let's let's, let's see what this uh, this new people's buzz, courtesy of uh, Abe. Shout out Abe. Oh no yeah, way. it's beautiful. Oh, it's it's fantastic. Dish. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a gorgeous exactly dish. Oh, oh, great it's a gorgeous shot. dish. The people's buzz is back. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh that's actually geez. not gonna be too bad if it gets good skip. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Get a roll. Skip, hop, and roll. Let's go. That was real nice. Yeah, see, no one's tall enough. He can just throw it over that. Woo! Oh, good shot. Great shot. Yeah, good there shot. Go. Good 
All right, so this is actually a new location, I think, for next year's LVC. We're looking at about 450, 460 um, out there. Car path comes in really close to the basket, maybe like 10 feet right of the basket. Car path and beyond OB, there's a golf green up there, which now it's gonna be pretty short of the basket. On the left, it's gonna be OB. So flip something up through this gap and you gotta get left. Hopefully you can get a nice little skip off the cart path. Look out, Hunter. Yeah, good shot. That's as good as I can throw it, so. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that one's at least definitely left, but yours should be perfect. Oh, that's terrible. Dang. That's him. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Yeah, good shot. I'll get it. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, we got 387, par three, uphill. You can see it kind of perched up there. You might remember Paul's ace years ago. I think he threw like a flip up Thunderbird. So you're gonna throw that? Ran up, high five and left and right. Bunker, bunker, hazards. Oh, is this that hole? Uh, that's Dang the only on. thing to really think about. Um, so the OB deep, it looks like the fence that was there is gone. So they were saying in casual play, you don't worry about that. You do have to clear this sand and get to the grass. So it's technically an island if you if we both land in this, there's a drop zone. You had to throw it from up there. No, that looks nice. Yeah, this is. It's probably in the sand. Oh, it skipped out. Oh, it skipped out. Oh, nice. Oh, well. Good line. See if it carries. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to do that aggressive a throw. If you... Good putt, Trevor. Oh, look, uh, Connor, turn around. Oh, hello, ducks. We'll just watch them because they go under your car. Good, Good putt. Pretty much bombs away here. You got the green straight ahead that's OB, but that's like about 680 it looked like on the sign to reach it. We're playing about an 800 foot par four. Car path and beyond is OB um, once you get out of there. So just grip and rip. Didn't turn all the way, but it's out there. Turn this, turn, 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 Yeah, good shot. Good putt. Good putt, Trevor. 459 foot par three, pretty tricky. Looks like you want to pump something out here, have it cruise down. It's kind of down in a little bowl over there. Car path and beyond to the right OB, but it looks like it's pretty, looks like there's a lot of room to work with. So pump something out there, have it cruise right. Yeah, it looks good. That should be pretty solid. Oh yeah. Good shot, Hunter. Woo! Oh! Oh, it might cut through. Actually, 
I think it cut in. Oh, yeah, it's it's out right. for oh okay. Come on now, now. Huh? We'll see. Clip that tree on the back end. Oh, come on. Nope. Oh. So they use the bull. Oh, no. oh, oh. Dang it. Same thing. 888 foot par 5, par 4 for LVC, but par 5 during casual play. 888 foot. Um, just It's basically dead straight ahead, but you got the green that plays as OB, you got this cart path and beyond on the left that plays as OB, and you got the pond up there about 600 feet down the fairway, also OB. So pump something out there, get it moving left, have a very aggressive shot if you want to go for the eagle, um, or you'll be able to lay up, lay up for a birdie. Yeah. Good try, Trev. I'll just try and push it a little further. Can we try like a sneaky roller to his left gap? Or just oh. try to flip up more? I, flip up more. I mean, okay. yeah. This, yeah. We'll get aggressive on the second shot. Okay. The girl Isaac. never flips. Never what he thinks it is. That's good. Yeah, that looks real good. What is that purple disc? That's a bayonet. Bayonet. Nice. Okay. Yeah, founder's one. Yep, good shot. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. No, right cool. in it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, good shot, Trevor. Oh, uh, oh man. It looked elevation. good for a second. <laughs> oh, Dad, gum. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Those are great runs right there. We got an absolute pump of a par three out here. 457. Uh, uphill finish. OB, car path, and beyond to the left. Not OB, but just like tricky on the right. So you don't want to flip it too much, but you need to flip it over a little bit. Getting there feels like everything I'd possibly have in me, but I didn't come here to lay up. Too much. That's terrible. Gosh darn it. Oh, it turns. Never mind. I'm in debt. Oh, man. Get into that hill. Hey. Yep. Short is. Dude. They, they lengthen that hole. I swear. I'm <laughs> Yeah, get up. Yeah. All right, hole 18, it all comes down to this. OB water, OB water, OB green. Uh, just shy of the green and the bass chilling right there. So a lot of different options. You can get aggressive here a few different ways. There's also a little like safe dumpy hyzer, get across. Gorgeous such, finishing hole, great finishing hole. hole. Um, wish we were within one instead of two, yeah. but you know, well, stuff can still happen. Three, three, you never know. Got left. Ooh, that's 
kind of short. That, is that the water? That could be two left. Like you could almost be on like that little island hole that we had earlier. Okay, yeah, I mean, I wasn't trying to go that left. Oh, There's okay, no okay. reason for me not to. No, I would say my bad at that. Good shot, Hunter. That's so depressing. I was trying to throw it a little flatter, but the only reason I chose that disc is that was the newest one in the bag. So I was willing to just throw it in the water. I was like, oh, that's that's gone. Oh yeah, it is. Goes all the way across. Skip, skip. Oh, goodbye. Nice. That was like super duper safe. So far on it. Oh my goodness. Oh, Hunter. One time for him. Ooh. Bye, bye, bye. That was fun, though. That was fun. Ooh, that was good. Good hey. pot, Hunter. That wraps it up. Um, first off, they played incredible. If you saw their bag and you're like, man, that disc was juicy. It was Lone Star. You can check it out over at foundationdisc.com. We got plenty of Lone Star discs in stock there. Um, unfortunately, we are gonna rule out due to technicality because I don't know if you noticed, we're on a golf course, not a disc golf course, and bogey road battles can only happen on disc golf courses. It's a different, so, it's a different game. Uh, yeah. 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 Now, this, well, we had golf carts, we were a little too comfortable. Yeah, yep, that's another factor too. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> the golf course treated us incredibly well. Huge shout out to Wild Horse. If you ever have a chance to come out here for LVC or if you're just in the Vegas area and you want to get a disc golf round, fantastic course. Golf carts are available. I mean, I don't really know what more you could want. That was luxury disc golf. That yeah. was luxury disc golf. It was awesome. uh, absolutely gorgeous. But like I said, it's a golf course, so we do have to rule it out due to technicality, although it was one of the best bogey battles so far. So we'll see you in the next one.